All right, guys. So this video that I'm going to be filming today is one that I wish that it would have come across while I was pregnant. If you're a first time mama and you're kind of struggling, you're trying to learn how to breastfeed, but you're struggling a little bit with it, you're going to want to watch this video. Or if you're pregnant and you feel like you want to attempt breastfeeding once your baby is here, please watch this video. There are so many tips and tricks that I'm going to be mentioning. And I wish that I came across a video like this in preparation for my breastfeeding. So if that's you, definitely stay tuned. Watch this video because these tips are life changing. I promise. I promise you guys. We're going to be some breastfeeding pros. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Lee and I am a first time mama of a beautiful baby boy. I will probably pop a million pictures on the screen right now. His name is Leonardo and he is seven months old and I seriously can't believe it. I feel like a month ago I was still pregnant with him and just pushing him out in the hospital. Ever since I gave birth, you guys have been requesting a video all about breastfeeding and I completely understand why because when I was pregnant, I knew that I 100% wanted to breastfeed. I just had no idea what I was doing. So when I first had my baby, I started out exclusively breastfeeding and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video. As time progressed, I could just not keep up with his extreme demand. So now I do breastfeed, but I also supplement with formula. So during his seven month mark, I would say that we're breastfeeding about 60% of the time or breast milk about 60% of the time and 40% of the time it's formula. And one of the only reasons why I've been able to keep up with it being 60% breast milk is because of these breast pumps. So these are by LV. I showed you guys these in a past vlog. These are the wireless completely silent pumps that you can wear while you're driving, while you're cleaning your kitchen, feeding your dogs, food shopping, literally anything. And these pumps were very key for me in keeping my supply up. I did get a good number of questions on these pumps, so I'm going to save that towards the end of this video. But the way that I want to start this video, I asked you guys on my Instagram, okay, you guys have been requesting like crazy for me to do a video on breastfeeding. What exactly is it that you want me to answer? Do you guys have questions? Do you want me to tell you how it's done? What do you want to see? Overwhelmingly, there was so many requests of just how do you breastfeed? How did you learn how to breastfeed? And what are the tips that I need to know breastfeeding? So the way that it worked in the hospital that I gave birth at was if you were a mother that gave birth and wanted to learn how to breastfeed, they had a lactation consultant that would come and basically give you a little lesson, tell you how to angle everything, show you exactly what you're doing, help you learn the ropes so then you can take over. So I gave birth on a Friday night and the lactation consultants have the weekends off. So there was not gonna be a lactation consultant back in the building until after I had already left. Left and gone home. Thank God there was this like angel nurse that showed me a video and showed me, I think it's like four or five tips that were key in learning how to breastfeed because I was struggling before that. I was too embarrassed to really speak up and ask the nurses, is what I'm doing right? I really don't know what I'm doing. I kind of was just trying to figure it all out on my own. And a nurse that came in to check me saw that I was struggling and she stayed with me for like 10 minutes. And I'm telling you guys, even seven months later, I still use the tips that this nurse showed me. So I want to share those tips with you guys. That's how I want to start this video off. I just feel like that would be the most helpful. And then you guys did send in some personal questions that I will throw in in the middle and then at the end I will answer the questions about the pump and I also have a giveaway on one of these pumps for you guys. This is a $499 value. So I'm gonna have all the details for that in the video and down below. So I wanna say that if you are currently breastfeeding and you're struggling a little bit or you are planning to breastfeed, please watch this video, you guys, because breastfeeding is not easy. I know that I was so, I was getting very frustrated in the beginning because my baby was just not latching on and I was just so exhausted after trying and trying. I really was about to give up. And when this nurse stepped in, she was so patient with me and she taught me that patience and repetition are so important. Not only are you learning, but your little baby that was in your stomach and basically being fed through his umbilical cord. I think that's, I hope that's how babies are fed inside the tummy. If not, I sound very stupid. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is that you are learning, but your baby is learning as well. And a lot of these feedings are gonna be throughout the middle of the night and it's difficult, mamas. I'm not going to lie to you, it is difficult, but it's just a season in your life and you're gonna miss when your baby was this tiny and needed you this much and I promise you it's gonna go one, two, three. Okay, so let's jump into the tips because you guys know me, I can go on and on and talk forever. So the first tip is when you're breastfeeding your baby, you want to unswaddle them and have as much skin to skin as possible. 
if you're a breastfeeding mother, I would say that if you're home, I would try to actually take my top off, take off your nursing bra, whatever it is, have as much skin exposed to your baby as possible. And then for your baby, it's so important, take off the swaddle. I know that a lot of newborn babies are kind of bundled up like a little burrito, which yes, I 100% did that to my baby as well. But when you're going to feed them, you want to unwrap them, think about it. If your arms were wrapped like this and then you were all bundled up and you were trying to eat something like that, it's just, it's a lot more awkward. It's gonna make things a lot more difficult. Your baby is gonna be a lot more comforted by the skin on skin contact. And I know it's not something that you can do all the time when you're out of your house, but when you are home, especially in the beginning and trying to learn the ropes, I definitely recommend unswaddling your baby and undressing yourself as much as possible. Can you guys see Rocco's little booty right there? So he was trying to steal the little models that I wanted to use for the next tip because I feel like I'm very much a visual person and it helped me a lot to actually see. This is what the nurse did when I was in the bed. She had like a little baby doll, but I don't have that. This is the closest thing. I promise you guys that this one right here is a game changer. This is something that I was doing wrong and it didn't even click in my mind until the nurse pointed it out. So when I was trying to breastfeed my baby, what I did is I held him like this and his little belly button was facing the ceiling and I was trying to turn his head and get his head to go ahead and face my nipple. Now, if you think about it, if you're eating something and you're like this and you're turning your head like that and eating it like that, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, and it's gonna be the same exact way for your baby. So what you wanna do is always make sure that your baby's belly button is facing yours. So if you flip him in like this, him or her, of course, you're gonna flip them in like this and it's gonna be a lot more comfortable for them to go ahead and latch on. Next tip is also something that's really important. It's also something that I was doing wrong and I was having a really hard time because of this. Mom brain, because I seriously just forgot it. What was I just gonna say? You always, always wanna bring your baby to their feeding. So what I was doing, I was literally holding my baby in my arm, right? And taking my boob and trying to like lean my entire chest over, like bringing my boob to my baby. You don't wanna do it like that. You always wanna bring the baby to the feeding. You bring the baby over to the food. I was straining my back so bad by trying to lean over and bring my boob to the baby. You always wanna bring him towards you. I promise you, if you try this, it's gonna change everything okay so for the next tip what my nurse told me she's like Lee it's called breastfeeding not nipple feeding so I don't know if all of you guys know but I don't know why I thought that the milk was gonna just come out of one hole like in the middle the center of my nipple that's not how it works milk comes out of there but it also comes out of your areola which is like the brownish pinky part around like your actual nipple there's a whole bunch of little holes all over the place and milk comes out of the entire nipple and the areola. You wanna squeeze your entire breast and make sure that the baby gets that whole thing because if you only get the very, very tip of your nipple, it's gonna hurt so bad. And I didn't know, that's why my breastfeeding was hurting me. I was not letting baby latch on the correct way. And also a really good tip in order to get your baby to really open up his mouth, you'll squeeze a little bit of your breast and a little bit of the milk will drop out onto his lips and he'll automatically have an instinct to open up his mouth after he smells and tastes that little droplet of milk. I'm telling you guys, when the nurse showed me, I thought she was being too rough because she went ahead and took my entire nipple, like the entire thing and put it into his mouth and the baby's mouth was really big, but that's how he laughed on and that's how I do it now seven months later you don't only want to have the little tiny tip the end of your nipple in there because milk comes out of everywhere anything that is brown or pink is going to have little holes that milk comes out of so you want to get that entire thing in your baby's mouth those are pretty much the biggest tips that I want to recommend to you guys other than that it's really just learning your groove, learning your baby's groove. The more that you do it, the easier that it becomes. I remember the first, I wanna say two weeks that I was breastfeeding, I told myself, wow, I can't wait until my baby is six months because I can't wait to stop breastfeeding. It hurts so much, it's uncomfortable, it's very demanding on my body. I quickly changed my mind because I realized in the middle of the night, it was gonna be so much more simple to just whip it out give my baby his feeding and put him back to bed rather than going and making a bottle, turning the lights on, going to the kitchen, getting up out of my room. The whole breastfeeding thing just seemed so daunting in the very, very beginning, but I'm telling you guys, after about two weeks, it was like second nature, not a big deal at all. So I do quickly want to answer some of the personal questions that you guys had asked me on my Instagram related to breastfeeding. 
and I chose the ones that I just saw coming in a lot and a lot of you guys wanted to know what was the biggest challenge or what is my biggest challenge while breastfeeding and how long do I want to feed until. So once I hit six months, I decided that I wanted to extend how long I personally wanted to breastfeed up until one year. And when I think about what has been the biggest challenges other than the very beginning, just learning the ropes, I would say that the cluster feeding was really hard during his first month, which is basically where the baby will want to feed around the clock. And you basically have to constantly listen to that demand because that is when your milk is learning how much to produce. So I was seriously breastfeeding, I would say once every 45 minutes, on and off. Um, some days it wasn't that often, but throughout the very first month, it was a lot of breastfeeding, a lot of cluster feeding, and I felt like my baby was always attached to me, and that was a little bit difficult for me. I will also say that a challenge now is keeping up with his demand because he is a big boy, he's already 20 pounds, he eats about six to eight ounces every two hours, and I know that I just do not produce that much. Started power pumping. If you guys don't know what power pumping is, you can look that up on Google, but basically it's pumping after every single feeding, and you're basically trying to stimulate your body to producing even more milk. And with that being said, that is actually the perfect segue to my LV breast pumps because I did get a couple of questions about these breast pumps as well. And honest to God, you guys, I would not be able to power pump if it was not for these pumps. I slacked so much my entire, I wanna say I think I went about five months, my first five months after giving birth, I had a regular pump. And with a regular pump, you have to stay attached to a wall, you have a wire, it's very loud. For me, it used to hurt. And you have to do it in order to keep up your supply. And for me, I absolutely dreaded it. I hated that my hands weren't free, that I had to just sit there. There was a million other things that I had to do throughout the day and I'm like, I don't have 20 minutes to literally sit here attached to the wall. I can't even be on my phone because my hands have to literally hold up the pumps. I hated pumping. Honestly, because of that, I slacked and my milk supply did go down. So I researched it and I saw how to bring your supply back up. Oatmeal is also very, very good to keep your milk supply up. And the Armor drinks, I believe that's what they're called. I'm going to post a picture right now. I would have a bottle of Armor drink every single day and start every single day with oatmeal. And on top of that, I would power pump and I was definitely able to bring my milk supply up. Seriously, thank you to LV because there was no way that I was going to sit attached to a wall five, six times a day for 25 minutes at a time and pump. So as far as breast pump related questions that you guys did send in, a lot of you guys ask, does it hurt? Like I said, with my regular pump that I got free through my insurance, it did hurt. I don't know if it was just that the suction was so strong, but I felt like I was being milked like a cow, and I know a lot of women say that. But with the LV pump, it actually is supposed to mimic the sucking motion of a baby's mouth. And I also want to show you guys right on my phone, you can actually change the suction intensity of the pump. So that's really cool as well. You can do it right off of your phone. You can also track how much milk that you produce, so you don't have to keep taking the pump off of your breast and looking at it every single time to check and see how much milk has come out. And you could also keep a detailed history of exactly how much you were able to pump every single session. And that's something that you can go ahead and look back on and see if your supply is in fact increasing or decreasing. And with the LV pump, you actually don't have to use those little baggies that they sell because it gets held right over here in this little canister and this can hold up to five ounces on each side at a time. Okay, so I just wanna quickly run down the other questions that I did get about the LV pump because I know this is really, really hot on the market right now. So a lot of you guys asked how long does it take to charge fully? So it takes just about one hour for a complete charge. How long does a charge last? So one charge will last about two and a half hours of use. Is it really portable? So yes, it is completely portable as you guys can see and it actually weighs only 7.9 ounces. So not even one pound. And if you guys wanna see this actual pump in use, I did show that in the last vlog that I talked about. So I'm gonna put that video down below. I showed you guys how the app works. I showed you how much milk I was able to pump during filming that video. So that goes to tell you, it really is silent because I literally had it underneath my shirt. I was filming a video for you guys 
and then I took it out at the end and showed you guys exactly how much milk I was able to collect while filming that video. So if you guys want to see that, I will have it linked down below. And very last but not least, I am going to be hosting a giveaway for one of you guys to win your own set of LV pumps. So it is going to be an Instagram giveaway. I'm going to have all of the details to that down below. The winner is also going to be announced on Instagram. So make sure that you check out all the rules down below right under this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave it down below. I know how intimidating and how difficult it can be in the beginning when you're first learning to breastfeed. So I feel like this video is perfect whether you're a new mother and you're learning how to breastfeed or maybe you're pregnant and you kind of want to have some tips down so you know exactly what you're walking into. So again, let me know if you have any questions. I try my hardest to answer back every single person that comments down below and you could always DM me as well on Instagram. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Good luck and I will see you next time. Bye.